I'm 46, requesting a plan to age gracefully. Any suggestions? Multiple signs of aging, including jowls, neck sagging, tired eyes, and dull skin. I am including pics of the worst. Also included a couple made up and of existing scars on chin. I have always disliked the lack of definition in jawline, but I do not want to ever look done or like a different person. In addition, I clench my jaw a lot and look old and cronish when I do so, and my lips are crooked and thin. Looking for advice on dental and surgical options and long-term plan. Thank you for your question. You state in your question you're 46 and you are asking for a plan to age gracefully. With your question you submitted multiple photos with and without expression as well as a, a view under your chin. And you state that you have concerns about everything from tired looking eyes, sagging uh, skin in the jawline and jowls, as well as dull looking skin. And you are looking for recommendations and a plan. And you certainly want to avoid looking unnatural. Well, at least in this, in this question, you do state very specifically that you've always had a, uh, concerns about the definition of your jawline. Uh, and, and I think I'm, it, there's an opportunity here to actually focus in that area. To give you a little bit about my background, I'm a board-certified cosmetic surgeon and a fellowship-trained oculofacial plastic and reconstructive surgeon. And in practicing in Manhattan and Long Island for 20 years, I have uh, focused significantly on uh, facial aging changes. In fact, I wrote a book several years ago about helping people uh, to help consumers, people like yourself, uh, learn more about options uh, and still look natural. I think that uh, one of the interesting things that we are experiencing for years now is that as accessible as cosmetic procedures have become, the, the, the proliferation and accessibility of a lot of information also has people also exposed to a lot of undesirable cosmetic procedure results that makes people naturally fearful about what, uh, what they will look like if they do a procedure. It's amazing how um, in 20 years I, I get now uh, with almost every consultation not only the person's expressing their desired outcome, what they want, but they also very clearly describe what they don't want. So. Unfortunately, thanks to the tabloids and television, we're seeing a lot of uh, celebrities and uh, uh, pseudo-celebrities not looking as uh, natural as, they, as one would uh, th hope. So y the, the concept of a plan is very, very important. Um, as a specialist and as someone who offers everything from uh, skincare products to minimally invasive procedures to advanced surgery, I am serving as a role of being a primary care doctor for uh, beauty. So when I look at your photos and uh, it, it's I, like every patient I speak to, I always say, okay, you have a lot of concerns. What are your priorities? What is, wh where do you look first when you look in the mirror? And that usually reveals the hierarchy of what they want to deal with first. So let's talk about the jawline. Well, understanding that sometimes when people, uh, especially a lot of women who feel like they're starting to jowl or lose jaw definition, assume appropriately that they need some type of elevation because they'll lift and they'll see that the, the jawline looks sharper and think that that's the right way to go. Well, in, although I do a lot of facelifts, I can tell you that there is a time and place for everything. And it depends a lot on skin laxity. In your situation, being in your mid-40s, I can tell you that a lot of people will actually not necessarily have to do lifting, but rather do something to address volume loss. And the point of that is to understand what happens in facial aging. There are two things. There is loss of bone, muscle, and fat, which is significant, and sagging, sagging of skin and soft tissue and muscle. So in a situation like yours, to just focus on the jawline, 
we would possibly consider, and again, this is an absence of a physical examination, a procedure called the Y-lift. In our practice, we perform this Y-lift procedure, which is kind of a, a hybrid procedure in a way of combining the minimal invasiveness of, a, um, of fillers or injectables with the structural um, improvements that occur with surgery. So w what does that mean? Well, understanding that the bone structure is a structure which sets the foundation of our faces. The concept of Y-lift involves the placement of long-lasting uh, long fillers, such as Juvederm Ultra Plus, under the muscles uh, in a very elegant way with, a, with minimal discomfort and almost no pain or swelling, you can actually restore um, cheekbone structure, jawline structure. It can actually do a lot and at the same time look very natural. So there's a method and then there's the artistry. And as an artist and someone who I, I feel like I, I always try to look at someone and see what they're what they look what they looked like a few years ago when they were much younger and try to restore the balance and there's something called the golden ratio and it has to do with kind of the the, the different uh, aspects of an attractive face and I found with Y lift you know a, a little bit of cheek accentuation and jawline accentuation can certainly go a long way so that being said of course with that that addresses one issue. So when you think about it globally, you have to kind of come up with your, your own list of things you'd want to do and of course work with a doctor on how many things you can do at one given time. You always have to match priority with, um, with feasibility and of course expense. So that being said, I think that um, opportunities also in terms of skin quality, someone like yourself, we often use something called platelet-rich plasma. Platelet-rich plasma is derived from your own blood and is used to stimulate your body's collagen. It helps to improve skin quality in a way that actually restores a certain glow to the skin. And, uh, and th th this is also something that's unique um, in the way skin rejuvenation is approached. Uh, surface issues, we often uh, use something called hydrofacial or glycolic acid based uh, technology that uh, infuses glycolic acids into the skin as well as hydrates the skin. So certainly um, there, I think that with um, your situation, again talking, speaking as if someone like yourself comes to our office, if you are concerned about jawline definition and overall structure, then within one setting we can do a combination of Y-lift and a hydrofacial, and which is a common thing that a lot of people who travel to New York City will do. They'll come by our office and get the Y-lift and hydrofacial together and then go out to dinner the same night, which is really nice because it's a, these procedures are not procedures that require significant downtime or recovery so that's that's pretty that's pretty nice and at the same time there's a nice impact and 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 a result that can last for for uh, several years so that being said meet with doctors and meet with people that um, have the ability to do a lot of different things very often people end up with uh, let's say a dermatologist and the dermatologist will only offer what are within the scope of what a dermatologist typically likes to do. I know very often it's um, lasers and non-surgical procedures. And then you can go to, you know, you go to a spa, you'll only get spa procedure. So I feel like what, what we've accomplished in our practice is we've, we have everything under one roof and we're able to really provide comprehensive care with no bias because of any limitations. So meet with doctors, cosmetic surgeons, cosmetic specialists who perform a variety of procedures and come up with a plan, an idea, and envision what your outcome will be with the doctor. You know, these consultations need, require time. You know, this is something that I really believe strongly in. Spending time with patients, learning what they need, who they are, 
learning about their medical I I histories and, and just formulating a plan and getting to know people and being having a long-term relationship to me is the, is the way that is the optimal way for everyone to get a, um, a, a satisfactory uh, result in whatever they do, uh, somebody does or a patient does. So I hope that was helpful. I wish you the best of luck and thank you for your question.